change your heart, change your life, change the planet. Hey everybody, it's Tim Van Orden, and today I want to do a test. I'm reading a book called Everything All at Once by Bill Nye, the science guy, and he says that there's a right way to tie your shoe and a wrong way to tie your shoe. And if you tie it the right way, they won't come untied. And this is a problem that a lot of runners have, is that their shoes come untied in workouts and races. And when I'm out doing my boot slogs, which is where I take my running shoes, put large winter over boots over my running shoes, and then I walk or run through the deep snow. And what happens is that the overboot rubbing on the shoelace will untie my shoes, uh, usually in about an hour to an hour and a half. Uh, the boots will manage to untie the shoes, even though I double knot them. Uh, and in races, I will triple knot my shoes because a double knot, even though there's nothing rubbing on the outside, a double knot still doesn't stay uh, guaranteed throughout the race. So I'm going to try Bill Nye's method of what he calls the square bow knot. All right, here's what it looks like. Hi, Mama Kitty. Okay. So, I'm going to tie my left shoe the way that I always do, the way that I learned how, which is a little odd because I'm left-handed. And some of you may see that this is a strange way to do it, but it's how I learned how to do it. So this is my standard way of tying. Uh, notice that these guys are kind of at an angle to my foot. They're not going across. They're not going straight down. They're at like a 45 degree angle. And what I do to keep them from coming untied is I will double knot them. And that's pretty tight. So inside of my boot I'm gonna have that knot double knotted. With this guy I'm going to do what Bill Nye suggests which is the square bow as a kitty rubs my leg. Let me get this out of the way. So the square bow I'm going to start the same way but what I'm going to do now is I'm going to make a loop here and I'm going to go around that loop so around the outside of the loop pull it a little tight and then come through that second loop that I just made to make the square knot bow. And you'll notice that it's directly perpendicular to my foot. It's going straight across. So I'm going to leave that as is. I'm not going to double knot it. I'm just going to leave this knot uh, single knotted. So we've got the bow uh, single and then we've got the standard way that I tie a shoe double knotted. I'm going to put both of these guys inside of my big boots and we'll see which one lasts longer. Generally on my boot runs, these guys, even though they're double knotted, will come undone. And I'm curious to see what happens with the square knot bow because Bill Nye says that it can't come untied. So we're putting it to the test. Hey mama. Yeah. This is mama. Mama. I say hi, Mama. Oh, Mama, she's so chunky. She's such a chunky girl, isn't she? So I'm just getting home from my run. Gonna check out the shoes. This is the left foot, which is the standard tie, which was double knotted. Now I didn't go as long as I normally do. I only went about 54 minutes. 
All right, so you can see the knot is loosened up a little bit. It's not as tight um, as it used to be. It's kind of a loose knot. So had I been out there for my... You can see it's pretty easy to... Yeah, had I been out there for my normal hour and 45 minutes for two hours, I'm sure that would have loosened up some more. And this is the Bill Nye Square Pro, which had a single knot in it. And look at that, really tight still. Wow, really tight. No movement whatsoever. Alright, I'm sold. That's uh, the way to go.